Hi guys, let's talk about the scribble trees. So um, I'm gonna start by just really lightly sketching out my shapes here. I've got this little hill. You guys can see my the example that I'm working from on the website. Um, I'm just gonna kind of sketch in where I'm going with these branches because mine are pretty complicated. But remember, we want to be kind of loose with it. I mean, it's scribble technique, so I'm not going to sit here trying to make it perfect. I want to get the feel of the tree without spending too much time worrying about it too much. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of sketch in where the canopy of the tree is. Sorry, you guys are going to be working on better, bigger paper, so you won't have to worry about it all getting cut off. Okay, so there's my basic kind of design. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the trunk um, and then I'm gonna work into the leaves, all right? So when I do the trunk, I want my textures to still be different. So even though I'm doing scribble for everything, I can scribble in different ways. So here I am scribbling the trunk. Now the trunk is pretty dark, but it's like medium dark. So I'm scribbling like this. I'm going to fill it all in. And then it's also kind of looking like texture as I go, which is nice. Hopefully you guys will find a picture that you can really see this stuff a little bit better than mine. I just wanted to pick an interesting tree to show you. So scribbling. It's getting a little thick. Okay. Now I might go back and scribble more in areas that are darker. So I do see a little bit of value changes in some parts of the tree. So we definitely still, even though we're doing scribble, we still want to practice adding values. Okay. Um, I don't know what's happening here. It all goes behind the leaves, but we can go this way. And then there's some dark shadows in here. Okay, so that's how I scribble the, the, the trunk of the tree. Then I'm gonna do the leaves. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the lightest value of the leaves, which is this really light um, green that I see up here. And I'm gonna scribble to that value, okay? And I'm gonna change it up, go in different directions, but I'm following the basic shapes of the the canopy of the tree. And yeah, it goes all over the trunk, of course. Some areas are more open, that's fine. So I'm doing the lightest value that I have so that I can come on top of this and do more later. So we're gonna do an overall value first. Am I making a photocopy? Obviously not. We're going to just kind of have fun with this. But I still want to see some effort. I want you to understand that. I want to see that you guys understand how we can do values with this and textures. OK, so there's my lightest value in Scribble. Now I'm going to come over. And I'm going to start adding in layers of darker value wherever I see it. So I think my final one will have quite a few different layers. Let's just concentrate in this area here. So I'm going to change my scribbles up a little maybe as I start putting in darker areas. It also helps, it feels like lots of layers, just kind of like the tree is naturally. Some places will leave open. So there's nothing showing through. Some places you'll just see the light value shining through, but you want to have a lot of different levels. Okay. Then go back again. All right. 
then once I feel good about my leaf canopy areas, let's concentrate in here again so we can see darkest areas. And I'm pushing down pretty hard now with the pencil. Um, I'm going to come back in and put in a few of the branches that you see through the canopy. kind of connected and then maybe they're kind of not but they're there and you can see them in the little openings in the leaf so you'll see that it is actually a little bit more complicated than just here I scribbled a tree I'm done okay <laughs> We do still need to show t um, the values, the levels of value. Um, I want to see layers, and I do want to see a texture and value even in the, um, the trunk, okay? But it should go fast, and it's supposed to be loose. It's not supposed to be like crazy trying to get everything perfect, okay? Um, and then what I might do is put in a little bit of different scribbles to kind of address the background, maybe something bigger. So that you can see that there's something there and it feels like a finished picture. Okay. So I will finish this and put a picture of this up online for you. Okay. Good luck.